Today, our communities face a multitude of challenges, from dirty, polluted water, to high unemployment, crime, violence, and poor health. My name is Alvaro Sanchez Sanchez. We're about to show you models that are leveraging water infrastructure investments and are leading the way towards clean water and strong communities. Water utilities across the country are investing millions, even billions, to clean up our water. In the process, they are catalyzing economic development that make our community stronger. So here in D.C., we have three major waterways, the Anacostia River, the Potomac River, and Rock Creek that runs down the center, really kind of the center of the city. Right now, every time it rains hard here, uh, we can't take all the flow that comes to the treatment plant, so some of it gets diverted out into the river. And it's not just rainwater, it's also commingled with raw sewage. There are a number of challenges here in Syracuse. Um, we work a lot on the south side, the near west side, all of which have high rates of, of poverty, you know, disinvestment over the years. We had a challenge. We had a water quality issue and in the other river and the storm drains coming into this area. But we had an opportunity that we can actually change how we address water quality in a way that can improve the quality of life in the community. Instead of wasting the rainwater into our inlets, we're looking to keep that water out of the inlets, using green infrastructure to absorb, to infiltrate, recycle and reuse rainwater, and make it into a commodity. And it's really important for the ratepayers to understand where their money is going. It's, it's extremely important. We've embarked over the last decade into a major program to improve our city through green infrastructure. We're looking to bring together the people who make green roofs, the design engineers, the architects, landscape architects, city planners, homeowners, and other stakeholders and bring them all together. The beauty of the program is that it allows us as utility to invest locally, sustainably, and to create a cycle of investment. By investing in green infrastructure projects, a process that mimics how water flows through our natural environment, we can deliver multiple benefits to our communities. Uh, part of the benefits for green infrastructure include what we consider triple bottom line benefits. Those include financial benefits, societal benefits, as well as environmental benefits to the community. Um, if we continue to build and shape this in industry, it can help our local businesses to grow, to advance, it can help to create thousands of jobs, and it can help to set our local businesses up as leaders, uh, even uh, nationally. I'm the owner of Shift Design here in Philadelphia. We are a design and manufacturing firm. Our three main sustainable systems are green roofs, living walls, and rainwater capture. You know, instead of doing one large project to try to control green infrastructure or stormwater management, doing little projects all throughout the city, multiplying it greatly, is one of the important things that we were trying to emphasize with you know, coming to market with our products. Residents in the community had wanted to see a model of green infrastructure um, so that they could point to things and understand what they meant. If there's a way for us to stabilize an area, provide health benefits to the community, engage residents in the process, and also provide some type of green infrastructure or model, this is a program that allows us to do this. So we're trying to pick little, little gems in the emerald necklace that will be able to capture rainwater and bring an amenity to the neighborhoods that, that they don't have because the, the area is very lacking in park space. So a uh, easy way to have multiple benefits is to either refurbish existing parks and expand upon them or create new parks. And this is a treatment wetland. So the wire that comes in here is treated, goes through all three of these cells and it it goes out the back end when it gets full enough. I originally was from this community, in this area, and I, um, and I remember when it was nothing here. Literally, it wasn't nothing here. So what we've seen uh, by being here is that the, the community and the kids, even you know the younger generation, actually do care about having a place to come and kind of unwind after a long day. And you can, you know, you can kind of sit out and all you hear is birds. You hear birds. You hear the wind blowing. You see the water moving. It's just a, you know, who can love that? You know, it's a, it's a very, you know, it's very inspirational and it, it kind of just frees your mind. Investing in our water infrastructure improves our environment and creates real opportunities for our most impacted communities. Uh, most of the youth that we work with are from the community I grew up in, which is the southwest side of Syracuse. 
and they can be put in a category of at-risk youth. I was looking for a job. At first, they were hot. Nobody would hire me because of my record. And I went and applied at Onondaga Earth Court, and they actually gave me the job. So I've been dedicated to them because I want to show them, and not just them, everybody else that there's some people that actually learn from their mistakes and want to do something better, and not just for themselves, but for people that's coming behind them. Really, I was actually a part of the problem, you know, back then, but now, you know, I just want to make our city cleaner and greener. I used that before, okay? <laughs> I'm <Yeah>. sorry. <laughs> I want to make, you know, I want to make the city cleaner for our youth, you know, so our children can, a nice community, you know, to bring their children along. The moment that I realized I was really enjoying what I was doing is I was walking down, down the trail, the bike trail, with a few of my relatives, and they're looking, they're, oh man, when they do this? When this get here? And I'm thinking to myself, hmm, we did that last week. Where y'all been at? They call me like a tree hugger, but I like it. Like, I like what I'm doing. And they're, they're proud of me. They're proud that I'm doing something positive. Well, my job is, this is, uh, this is my future. You know, I can learn a lot of stuff because the city have a lot of projects and uh, this is a good system to learn something more for me and, fam and my family. Even I don't believe myself because this is, this is something big for, me, for myself. And, and even my wife don't, don't believe me about the job. Even that night, I can sleep all night. So I'm, a, I'm, I'm really happy and I'm lucky. These water utilities are investing in projects that create multiple benefits. They are offering the country a model to solve some of our community's biggest problems. Instead of spending the money underground, we are surfacing that money and bringing things back to the community, working with our schools, our parks, our businesses. Smart investments in water, instru water infrastructure are smart investments in their community. So let's rally behind our water utilities and encourage them to adopt a business model that incorporates community benefits. After all, don't you want clean water and strong communities?